Go to my body. Like, fuck me. The bad is finally over. All the good stuff is waiting for you. Oh my god! <laughs> whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. Huh? Huh? That's the sound of the geese. Cokehead, crackhead, cokehead, crackhead. Hey, girl gang. What up, everybody? Happy Friday Eve. Woo! It's Friday Eve. Yes. I'm so excited. It's so, so good to see you guys. Oh, it is still hot as balls here. Oh, my God. Listen, it's the last day. It's all I can say. But the energy is very, very low today. I hope everybody is keeping cool. I hear Europe is fucking burning hot, too. And Oh, my God. And anyway, listen, listen. Everybody, find a way to keep cool. Get yourself something very, very cold to drink. We have a video and we have a live stream to watch together. Now, she did put out the video that she mentioned last night while we were live. Going to the floating market. I am so effing excited. I have seen one thing. And it's a picture on Twitter of her struggling to get into the boat. I almost died just watching a picture, so I can only imagine how funny this is going to be. The boat looks like it's going down, going over, like going sideways into the water. I don't know how to describe it. I'm a city gal myself, but it looks like she's going to take this guy's boat out. Oh, my God. I love it so much. So even though it's an edit, this should be hilarious because she's got no shame. She doesn't edit out anything embarrassing. She knows that's why the people are here. <laughs> So that's why we're here. Uh, and then we're going to watch the live stream that she did. You know, it's probably just another boring one, but <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see what she has to say in this one. I don't know. She looks insane. The pointy fucking chin thing is just, it's out of control in this live stream. So we'll speed that one up and we'll dip when we're bored. You know how we do it. All right. I, Auntie M, thank you for the super chat. Frenchie, have you ever watched Chef Reactions on YouTube? I do, and I saw his Montreal one. Yeah, it was really good. He's so sarcastic. I really, really like that guy. Great channel. Yay. Thanks for suggesting it. All right, everybody. What do you say we start with the floating market? Because, frankly, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get the tab. IRL slot, thank you for the super chat, girl. Okay, Dave. Oh my god. Your hand? Yeah, let go. <laughs> oh my god, I love it already. Wait, that's just like the teaser part. Look at the weird way she gets down. Oh my god, the panic in her giggle. Ee, ee. Let's just listen to that one again. Wow. Wow. What? What? Just wow. What a weird way to get down on the ground. Ow. Okay, Dave. Oh, my God. Your hand? Yeah, let go. <laughs> This is true. Plus my goods. Thank you for the super chat. Floating market burned to the ground and started in a bathroom. No joke. Damn. Wah, wah. It burned down today? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Sissy Wolfcat, thank you for the super sticker, girl. Appreciate it. Uh, It's today. Obso, thank you for the super chat and the info. The market burned down today. And it started in the bathroom. What did she do? What did she do? She literally blew up their bathroom. We always knew one day it would happen. It finally happened. Oh, my God. What the hell are the odds, though? I'm making a joke, but what the hell are the odds? Wow. Holy shit. Yeah, I'd like to blame her, too. <laughs> Julie, thank you for the super chat, girl. I, I don't know. There's something going on with notifications and stuff. We got a little thing in the YouTube studio, I feel like, two days ago, saying how, like, 
notifications are kind of fucked right now. Not obviously those weren't their words, but yeah, they let us know that. Sierra, thank you for the super chat. The market literally burned down today. No joke. What the hell? Y'all, what? What are the odds? Everything foodie touches is destroyed. Lisa, you're right. She brought her karma to the market. That's so sad. Wow. Huh. Hi, guys. Salaamu Alaikum. Sawadika. Today, we are taking you all to the floating market in Pattaya, Thailand. Yella, let's go. When you first arrive, you have to purchase tickets. They have different packages to choose from, but we chose the one that includes entrance fees, a boat ride, a souvenir, and a snack for a total of 800 baht. Just after the entrance, you have to go through a tiny turnstile type thing. As a big woman, I just love those. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I knew it was going to be a problem when she mentions a tiny turnstile and not just you had to go through a turnstile. As a big woman, I just love those. <laughs> so you're full of shit and you haven't even gone in the place yet. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Mon Brax, thank you for the super chat. Why'd she fold like someone broke her? Can you imagine how bad that hurt her knee? As Muslims, we appreciated that they had an area to pray right after the entrance. Oh, shut up, Chantal. Why didn't you film any of that? Hypocrite, liar, biatch. Mm -hmm. Oh, as Muslims, we appreciated they had a spot. We didn't show any of that, you know, for privacy because they didn't go in there at all. As Muslims, we get the hell out of here. Now, Thailand has many floating markets, but since we were in Pattaya, we decided to see this one for now. The floating market is, in a nutshell, a colorful market with traditional Thai crafts and produce sold from boats and waterfront shops. The traditional architecture surrounded by water is a wonderful sight to see. You can purchase many things here, like the famous elephant pants, which, by the way, you do see everyone wearing. It's also a nice way. Okay, that place is really cool. What a shame that it burned down. When they were showing, like, the water and going there and the boats kind of pull up to sell their stuff and stuff. That's amazing. The water is gross. Fair. But, you know, big deal. That's She's taken us to somewhere interesting. And it burned down today. What a shame. Nancy, thank you for the super chat. The whole, this whole place burned down yesterday. Uh, and she did not eat it to pay homage to these people. I mean... Oh, she didn't edit it. To, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought it burned down today. Huh. You're right. She doesn't even edit it enough. I just assume when you guys said it burned down today, we'll eventually get to a little point where she puts in a, a voiceover saying that it's burned down. She just put out this video a couple hours ago. There's no little voiceover? Wow. Okay, to get in some walking exercise. I was worried about that. Yeah, yesterday, today, uh, frankly, it doesn't even matter because the point is she put this video out. This video only released a couple hours ago. So one way or another, the fire had already happened. She could have just edited quickly in a little, um, you know, a voiceover saying what had happened today. The size of the boats here. <laughs> You can buy various foods and drinks as well. I was dying of thirst, so we each got a fresh palm juice. It tasted like coconut water, but sweet to me. It was refreshing. Peeking through the shops, you can observe others enjoying a boat ride throughout the waters. One thing we found interesting was the fish spa. You can sit as long as you want and get the gross things on your feet eaten by little fish. I'm sure that tickles. Overall, it was a beautiful... Yeah, I still think they didn't let her go in with her funkle feet. Why not have tried that? That's kind of a once-in-a-lifetime thing. That's not something you see all the time. I would have tried. Fat person voice is an overload today? Fat person voice? I love that. Whereas we all call it the low BMI voice a fat person voice. I like it. Her low BMI is sounding fat. <laughs> the low BMI voice has gained weight on this vacation. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. Uh, so for my fellow Americans who have read 
oh wait, who have the new Stephen King book, Holly, if you take it out in the sun, it then will glow in the dark. What? Random, I know I wanted to share. Okay. Huh, interesting. Beautiful day. And the sights and smells here at the floating market are something to experience for sure. Made for a really, really fun day together. Hey guys, we're having a blast at the floating market. Yeah, we are. Let's keep going, babe. You're not a travel vlogger unless you point at things. Doink, doink. Doesn't know. Doesn't describe a goddamn thing. We don't know what it is. She's not telling us what it is, but point at it and then wave a little bit. Lunatic. Turns out the floating market is also a great place for some love. Vanessa in hats. She looks like a fucking demon. Look at her face. Oh my God. It looks like she just bought his soul. What the fuck? It's a great place for live. You are so fucking creepy. Everything about this picture is creepy. And I haven't even looked at him yet. Look at her. Top to gut well, that we can see. Look at her face. You are the devil, Jean Dolph, for real, for real. Holy moly. See, again, it, it, we talk about all the time the lack of chemistry in this couple, and she gets all pissed when we, you know, you allude to the fact that they're not fucking and stuff. Uh, you just went out of your way to do a voiceover, like with that creepy voice that lives up. This in front of a goddamn sign that says love this right here this pause is the as close as you two losers could come to chemistry he looks lost with those stupid glasses on and you look like the devil sucking up his soul yeah that's not chemistry this is creepy as fuck i always say like mommy and her son or i say she looks like my ex's grandma and stuff this is neither one of those things. This is the devil on his arm. She looks insane. Oh, yeah, Radblad and the selfie stick from Allah. How could we forget? <sighs> what a mess. Just, just, oh, this picture is just, mwah. Salad only loves himself. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at his face. Look at her face. Look at her face. Oh, my God. No. This is a good one, though. I like this one. His hair looks like the Manny from Ice Age. Wow. That hat is interesting. The hat needs to be, I would say, sent to Jen, but Jen doesn't need to wear that filth on her head. She doesn't need the hat. Jen needs a hat. Sydney, thank you for the super chat. Oh, my God, that would make sense. That's so sad. We're headed for the boat ride, but the boats look small, so I'm not really enthusiastic about that. Can we go oh, oh, Hold bicycle? on, I was trying to get a specific pause, and it's not. Oh, uh, there it is. Oh, do you guys remember? For anybody who was around back in Crackhead Olympics, and I would get so mad at her weird puffy eyelids. I would get so pit. Somebody even got her to say it once in our intro, you know, my eyes are puffy, you know, the fucking puffy eyelids that trap the makeup in the corner of her eyes. It, oh, I haven't seen it in so long, but here it is on full display. Look at it. Look at it. It looks like she took the eye pencil stuff and just dabbed it in the corner of her funkal fucking eyes. The eye poop. Exactly. Eyelid shaming. Hell yeah. Fucking funkal eye. Ugh. The puffy eyelids and that heat and stuff. What are you even wearing that makeup? You look nuts. It just gets on my nerves. Get, get it out of there. 
Get it out of there. It's like, you you know, you clean a dog's face every morning to get the guck out of the corners and stuff. Where's her fucking master to clean her goddamn eye guck out of her eyes? I'm not really enthusiastic about that. Here we were approached by some Thai folk in some beautiful makeup and attire. And we took some photos with them. It was really nice. Let's just rewatch this part. Just the poses. He's wearing sunglasses. Wait, there. Oh, it's hard to see. I can't NASA enhance it. Put your little faces up to the screen. What do you notice on Salad's fucking face? He's wearing eye, like the, the sunglasses. He raised his eyebrow. You see it? Oh my God, Fox, you see it. All right. He raised his fucking eyebrow behind the sunglasses to pose for this goddamn picture. <laughs> Does he forget he's wearing sunglasses? He's such a stupid fucking idiot. Look at his stupid eyebrow sticking out. Moron. pose why do they both look stupid she's doing it wrong he looks insane oh my god oh my god does she not see herself she edits these how can she keep wearing that outfit and that hat that hat when she's the one who edits this fucking footage all the time i don't get it <laughs> Okay, babe. Oh my god. Your hand? Okay. Yeah, let go. Uh, oh, no, it's gonna fall. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> don't worry. Is it gonna tip? Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Did that motherfucker just push her ass into the boat? He fucking pushed her. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe I saw that wrong. Yeah, let go. Uh, uh, no, it's gonna fall. No, it's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Is it gonna tip? Oh okay. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. He pushed her in the boat. <laughs> Good for him. Oh my God, she's gonna tip this guy's boat right over. Oh my God, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. He, like acting all supportive, yeet, yeets her into the fucking boat. Oh my God, this boat is going over. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Oh my God. Oh my God, wait a minute. She's holding on for dear life, fucking squealing in the boat. Okay, no, you know what? No, go. Oh, I want to see the push again. I want to hear the squealing again. Let's NASA enhance this and see it in all its glory. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, that was amazing. Amazing. <laughs> she knows what we want to see. She leaves that stuff in. That was her edit. She leaves it in. Oh, my God. He pushes her in the boat. The squealing she made. She's so rarely even like, I don't know. She's fake all the time. We all fucking know it. I was like, ah. <laughs> she thought that fucking boat was going to tip over. I'm sure the guy who owned the boat also thought the boat might tip over. Whoa, nice fight. Wow, okay, now I'm okay that I'm on it. Uh, you don't look too convinced. 
Now I'm okay that I'm on it, but look at the weird side eye she gives the oh, camera. Okay, now I'm okay that I'm on it. That doesn't look like the face of a woman who's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what she's wondering right now? Right now, she's going, fuck, if it was that hard to get on this boat, how the fuck am I getting off? What's, uh... <laughs> You're so funny, babe. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, my God, he's laughing at her, too. You are so funny, babe. <laughs> he giggles with us after pushing her in the boat and filming all the best angles of his, you know, New bride. Courage 101. Thank you for the super chat. A fire at the popular Pattaya floating market, which is the Bang Lamung district of Konorbi province. Chonburi. I read that totally wrong. Occurred at 8 p.m. today. Okay. Let me Google what time she put this up. And then we'll see if it had already been done. I was screaming, like, I was screaming. That's your first time to step on boat? Well, like this one, kind of, yeah. <laughs> this way, yes. Okay. When I was younger, I went on canoes and things, but... Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, the fire had already happened before she put the video up. To be fair, had she heard about the fire happening? Probably not. She doesn't watch the news in her own country. I doubt very much she's watching it on vacation. Um, I'm going to benefit of a doubt here that she didn't know. She might right now not even fucking know that the place has burned down. To be totally fair, you know, I don't think I would have expected her to put some little little voice over. But I don't think I don't think she knew at the time that she put this video up. Yeah, she went live last night, but the fire was only wet about nine hours ago. So the live last night, the fire hadn't happened. And I don't think by the time she put out this video, yes, the fire had happened, but I don't think she would have heard about it. You know what I mean? It's hours only had passed. Oh my God, Julia ate Harry. Womp womp. Thank you for the super chat. Maybe she did. Hello, Dika. Hello, Dika. How are you? Good. Hello, Dika. Hello, Dika. Sabadika. <laughs> Sabadika. It's Oh, you can buy elephant poo poo paper. What? Yeah, they make poo poo paper out of the Oh, okay. Oh. Really? Christy, thank you for the super chat. You can get infections from those those people before you amputating has happened at others. Scary, damn. Oh yeah. So we blow all three years old. Yeah. Nice. Wow, so nice, so relaxing, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta say, so far I like this video. It's very calm. It's not much going on. Okay, whatever. There's no food. She got on a boat. We had a laugh at her getting on a boat. We've now seen or are, are seeing something like visually interesting for her channel. I like this one so far. Okay, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe. No need, no need. Don't worry. Yes, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Follow up from Christy. Real time in the chat. Uh, the tanks don't get clean and you sure can't clean the fish. Ooh. I never really thought about the cleanliness of the tanks before. I'm more thinking of the little teeth of the fish, but good point. Yuck. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> you 
No, 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 don't fucking hi guys me. For the love of timing, man, I just said I was enjoying for once something nice to see. And this piece of shit gets up from his fucking seat and comes and ruins the view. Tall Pete's, get the fuck out of the way. What the hell is the matter with you? We were finally seeing something worth a damn. Fuck yeah, I just jinxed it. <laughs> we are enjoying our time here in this floating market in Pattaya, you know. This place must visit in Pattaya, guys. Make sure of that. Yes. Go fuck yourself. Okay, make sure of that. He's so fucking like, I don't know if it's weird condescending he's trying to be or whatever. You know what, Salad? I'm sitting my ass in Canada with a uh, citizenship card. You must try it. Oh, you can't. Shut the fuck up. No one cares about your goddamn visa run to Thailand asshole now i'm just mad because he ruined my view get the fuck out of the view and shut your face yes, definitely the architecture here is so nice beautiful yeah sunny day with some humid so what go guys Yeah, this is one of the best videos she's put out in a long time. You you know, I know probably a, a few of you find it boring or whatever and stuff. I like boring videos. <laughs> you guys know I watch those like silent, no talking, like home organization videos and stuff like that. I like this. This is very good. No food, no fucking sweaty ass face in my view. Just keep filming what you're filming. Karen Cross, thank you for the super chat. Hello, baby. Do you want to say something? I'm scared. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm having a good time. I'm glad I confronted my fear. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell. So here we're going to get the welcome drink from the coupon we paid already. Oh, oh. oh, thank God they're served in the boat. I was like, all right, here we go. We're getting out of the boat. Nope, nope, they serve you in the boat. All right. All right, have you a little snack and figure out how the fuck you're going to get out when you have to. <laughs> Feral girl, thank you for the super chat. I wouldn't care who I was with if they tried to cuddle up with me all weird and clean like that. In the heat, I'd lose my mind. The same. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So what do you call? <laughs> thank you. We got some drink and some fruit. Watermelon. Yeah, and dragon fruit. Oops. I hear a rooster. <laughs> he says, wake up. <laughs> wake up. Yeah, this is freaking nice. This is the best thing they've done on, in Thailand. You know what? This is the best thing I've seen since Crackhead Olympics on this channel. <laughs> Cindy talks. She wants French fries. Well, I mean, of course she does. <laughs> like, oh, great. It's fruit. <laughs> Moonzy Fox, thank you for the super chat, girl. What 
dip. How could you say dip? This is the best thing she's uploaded in the longest time. You want to dip? Okay, okay, okay. I had said there was no food on this video. All right, there's a little food. It's a little fruit. It's not that bad. It's not going to ruin the video. Stop. She really did not like that. She made a face at it. That is hilarious. Have you never tried dragon fruit before? I find it kind of tastes like nothing. It tastes like nothing at all. You're getting like the the lick the water from the fruit, you know? Eh. It's it's weird to hate it, as weird as him hating pad thai to the way he hated pad thai. You find it gross? I don't find it like anything. I don't know. For me, it's second time here in Thailand, but for her, it's first time in Thailand. Oh. <laughs> I'm curious, are they just going to all the places he went to the first time he went to Thailand? If not, what the hell did he do the first time he went to Thailand? Not that it's any of my business. Zing Cat, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, she's just so good at this. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับลงมาครับกราบเรียนมาเล่นตาครับสวัสดีสวัสดีครับ <laughs> <laughs> Mushy, what do you think he did? Well, if I had to make a guess, if you're coming from a very conservative country where, you know, things like alcohol, drugs, things like that could get you in a lot of trouble and are very difficult to get your hands on. If you have the money to travel out of the country and go to a country where those kind of things just free flow, that's the kind of trips that young people take. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking he went there when he was young to fuck around and have a good time. Very normal. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. Uh, yes, I did. I also noticed, I noticed the uh, size difference, if you will, when she bought the, uh, durian the other day, the woman who sold her the durian looked like, I know you were joking, <laughs> but I'm not joking. <laughs> the, the woman who sold her the durian looked about a sixth of her size. And at the time that we were watching, I thought Chantal looks like the clown car that that woman, like, you know, like six, eight of those women, they could just climb out of Chantal's fupa. They could all just be in there. She was tiny compared to Chantal. Oh my God, Blue Angel. That's a good point too. Chantal also has the filters on her camera, which is just making those little Thai women look extra skinny. Oh my God. Wow, that's cool. Amazing. No. Look at the fountain with the dragon statue. Oh, fuck off with the fucking waving. How many times? No one wants to see you wave throughout a whole goddamn video. These videos aren't long enough for all the fucking waving. He goes, well, look over there at the fountain. They don't know how to zoom in. She couldn't fucking zoom in on the edit. Too fucking stupid to know how to do that. Edits on a goddamn cell phone after seven years of calling this her full-time job. Where's the fountain? I'm fucking old. My eyes are shit, okay? And the stream yard makes your screen really small. Where's the... I didn't even see a goddamn fountain. All I see is two morons waving at each other again. Fuck. Okay, okay. I... Oh. They're about to get out of the boat. This will cheer me back up. I can't, I can't stand the waving. It's too much. 
You, it was 10 times yesterday. 10 fucking waves and thumbs up in a 13 minute video. Come on. Mandy, thank you for the super chat. One minute. That guy looked very concerned. Oh my God. He looks into the boat. Did you peep the face he made? Watch his face when he glances up at the people in the boat. <laughs> this is a man calculating now the math of how the fuck they're going to hoist that heifer out of that boat. He is looking at her like that is one big bitch. How in the fuck are we getting her out of there? Okay. 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 Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and asshole. Fucking asshole. How dare you, Shot Doll? That was the money shot. She took it out. It was probably so embarrassing and so hilarious. How dare she? How could she do this to us? Chantal, you know what we're here for. Oh my God. It was probably so good. I can't even imagine how hilarious she, oh my God. If she left in the getting in the boat and that gave us a good laugh, can you even imagine how funny the getting out of the boat was? Oh my God. She probably had to roll up on her gut. <laughs> I want to see it. That's not fair. Is she going to like release that to the members only? Is that how she keeps members on her channel? Oh my God. I bet the members are going to get to see it. We're not going to get shit. It's not fair. Life's not fair. Derpy derp face. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh my God, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at the state of her. <laughs> okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. And she's holding his hand. And then there's the cut. Look at her face. Look at her face. The first scene out of the boat. She looks a wreck. She is sweating so hard. She looks exhausted and very pissed off. <laughs> oh my God. Release the edit. Uh, how can we peer pressure her to release that part of the video? What she just edited out. I want that. She can keep the rest. No one gives a damn about the rest. Just give us the missing piece. Oh my God. It must have been good. Look at her face. Look at her face. If fuck my life was a face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's wrecked and mad. Hell yeah. She's so angry right now. Oh, we need to see it. Yeah, the director's cut. Exactly. That is cruelty to the community. How dare you, Chantal? We put up with so much shit. We wait for these tiny little nothings of something to happen. And you edit it out? What is wrong with you? Dick move, man. Mega dick move. Yeah, get that face off your face, Chantal. She's melting. <laughs> she just, she looks so angry. I want to see her getting out of the boat. It's not fair. Oh, I'm going to have a tantrum now. I'm meltdown. Fuck. What do you get to see? And we don't get to see it. It's not fair. Chantal, release the goddamn footage. The green semen in Chantal's throat. Thank you for the super chat. Hell yeah, she does. Video and uh, had fun with us here in this floating market and put that yeah. It was amazing, guys. Um, once I was nervous looking at the boats and getting in and out, but <laughs> once I did it, it was all right. So hilarious. So, <laughs> so hilarious. Oh my God. <laughs> like, we know that, but you're supposed to act fucking supportive. You're not supposed to say it was so hilarious. We're supposed to say it was so hilarious. He just said it was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, where's your getting out of the boat footage? This is some bullshit. Release the footage. It's not fair. Wait, is she wet from falling or sweat? The hat doesn't look wet. 
I'm going with sweat. That's just sweat. But I'm like, oh my God, can you imagine if she fell in? Can you imagine if she flipped the boat? Everybody fell in. <laughs> Release the footage. It's not fair. Cindy Lou, who, Pondu, thank you for the super chat. Not to defend Chantal, but the fire was at 8 p.m. on September 7th in Thailand. Right now it's around 4 a.m. on September 8th. So the fire was just eight hours ago. That's what I'm saying. That's why I had done the math. Um, on like what time it was, let's say around when she had released the video and stuff. I don't think she would have even heard about the fire. There's no way it had like just, just happened. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not uh, shitting on her for this one. You know what I mean? This time <laughs> we'll shit on her the next time. Isabella, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> she can't, <laughs> she cried. You think she cried? She may have cried. <laughs> She just looks a wreck right now. An absolute fucking wreck. The hijab, does, it's its its like, it's been uh, moved or something. There's something like just a wreck. The microphone, yeah, I like how he's got the microphone. <laughs> how does he get the microphone? As if we're here for him. Ugh, get out of here, Salad. Now, give us the deleted footage. Quinoa Trauma, thank you for the super chat. According to Google, the fire is believed to have started in a wooden restroom building. That's so fucking sad. What are the odds? Ah, uh, Accountable Beauty, thank you for the super chat. Why does an animal abuser get to travel? Because her karma is coming in a lifelong game. It's not just like instant, not like you abuse an animal, you don't get to travel. It's like you're a deaf fat who can't get out of a fucking canoe. Huh? You made a fool out of yourself in front of a man who doesn't want you and is playing you for papers. Um, and you got 16,000 things wrong with your health and you're only 38 years old. I don't know. Let her travel. You know what I mean? You let her enjoy it now. What You know, we will all retire. She gets to travel now. You know what I mean? I don't know. Long game of karma. Sussie Wolfcat, thank you for the super chat. She'd sink like a lead fish. <laughs> Wait, you think? She probably would. She can't float. And she would start fucking panicking and stuff. Oh, my God. Release the footage! <laughs> I want to see. I just want to see the struggle. It's not fair. It must have been really, really good. Oh, yeah, she is 39. Yeah, you're right, Raven. You're right. Totally right. 39. Potato, potato. But still, you are definitely right. Uh, the crumb on Chantal's eye. Thank you for the super chat. This is good because it's mostly not about them and it's about the place. You're right. Not about them. Not about food. The place was actually really pretty. Uh, he was filming much more steady than usual because he couldn't be walking around moving the camera. He was stuck in that fucking boat too. You know, it's great. Mandy, thank you for the super chat. I'm enjoying the boat ride, but man, her getting in was, <laughs> yeah, it sure was. I can't believe we didn't get to see it. She she must have the video. We just have to peer pressure her into releasing the edited footage. We want that moment that you deleted. Callie Cat, thank you for the super chat. She can't stand it, but still finished it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's like I say all the time. I will eat plenty of stuff I don't really like, but I'll complain about every bite I take. But I'm still going to finish it. Fatty. You know what I mean? Definitely. Luna, thank you for the super chat. Heard about diarrhea. Uh, oh my God. Yes, I did. That's so fucking gross. That's why I don't drink water from other countries. Parasites is no joke. Yeah, well, I mean, not all. Cause you have to know it, what country to drink the water from. You know what I mean? What country your system can handle to drink the water. But holy shit, I heard about that plane. <sighs> so fucking gross. So, oh, so fucking gross. If I paid for it, I'm eating it. S H, I'm very much the same. I hate wasting shit. Even if I don't like it, I will try and make it into something I like or just fucking eat it and complain. I, I love to complain. <laughs> I love to eat and I love to complain. Chucky Nickelodeon, thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate it. Imagine trying to rescue her from the water. They would need like a crane. You ever seen those like things that they bring like uh, the orcas into fucking SeaWorld with? It looks like uh, two metal poles and then that big ass like tarp thing in the middle. That's what they would have to like, lower down to get her in. How the fuck are they getting her out of there? It's impossible. Impossible. 
And you weigh so much more when you're wet, too. Oh, forget about it. No, no, no. You live in there now, Shamu. Huh. All right. Get out of here. Now, that was great. That was a great fucking video. I'm giving that video a 7 out of 10 for obvious reasons. It could have been a 10 out of 10, but we're missing the footage that we want to see. You release the missing footage, you get a 10 out of 10, okay? That's the way it goes. For now, we stand at a 7. It's a shame. It would have been so fucking good. Chantal, you've done so much on the internet to make an ass out of yourself after all these years. Give the people what they want. In the grand scheme of things, how embarrassing could it have possibly been? I bet it was way more embarrassing to like the guy who owned the boat, the people around who could see what was going on than it will be to us. We're used to your stupid shit, okay? Um, and I hate to always bring this up, but there's no fucking way in hell that it's more embarrassing than the bathtub full of peeps. So like, you're good, girl. Just fucking release the tape. Sarah, thank you for the super chat. Flopped on the dock like a seal. That's what I'm thinking too. And then I picture her rolling a little to like, Get herself properly on the dock and uh, on her back. You know, there's like a roll to it. Definitely. Chantal's peekaboo tooth gap. Thank you for the super chat. Her floating is gravitationally not possible. What? You know what? You're probably right. She just goes in and swoop right down. She goes, holy moly. Flirty Hershey. Hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, I want to clip that. I we may add a little a little nug of that to the intro because it's just that good. <laughs> if she releases the deleted footage, we'll add the whole damn thing to the intro. Capricorn MJ, thank you for the super chat. Missing footage equals FFG's Thailand rage. It could be. It's how passionately I feel about it. We want the footage. We put up with so much. You know what I mean? It's like crackhead Olympics. At the time, we felt like we earned it as a community for exactly that. We fucking put up with a lot of shit in this community. We earned crackhead Olympics. We haven't had anything interesting since crackhead Olympics. We earned to see whatever the fuck happened that she edited out of getting out of that boat. I want to see it. Come on. You saw the way she looked after the next scene and stuff. A wreck. A wreck. She didn't look that much of a wreck getting into the boat. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It was probably so good. Anyway, we will keep the pressure up, okay? Release the tapes. We want the tapes. We do deserve the footage. I agree. June, hey, Kala, thank you so much for the super chat. My first super chat. I love you so much. Well, thank you so, so much. And thank you for being here, girl. You're crying. I'm crying too, but I'm not crying laughing. I just want the goddamn footage. Give us the tapes. <laughs> all right, whatever. We're not getting the tapes today. Maybe if the community makes enough of a stink about it, though, she'll be like, oh, really? It's that important? Will I get views? If she thinks she'll get views for it, she'll release the tapes. Chantal, if you release the tapes, I'll watch it on your channel. How's that? Hmm? Mm. I won't just download the video and watch it on our channel. I will watch it on your channel if you release the tapes. Right on your shit, okay? Do it. Mags, thank you for the super chat. Watch the people watching her in the boat behind the, all the people always on this entire trip to Thailand. People staring at her, people taking pictures of her, people recording her. It's amazing. FFG's dad says marijuana, not marijuana. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, it would be smart for Foodie to release the director's cut of Thailand boat ride at Christmas <gasps> when pay is the best. Fingers crossed, girls. All right, listen. If she's got a long game... For the footage, I can wait. I got patience. All I know is we better see it eventually, one way or another. If not, that's not fair. That's some bullshit. Oy, oy, oy. The Crumb on Chantal's Eye, thank you again for the super chat. FYI, the diarrhea plane took off from Atlanta, so that's American water. Oh, shit. Is that true? Huh, interesting. I suppose it's not the water then. Wow. Wow. Okay, good to know. Eerie T, thank you for the super chat. Fun fact, body fat floats. Picture a beach ball. Oh. There's no, like, cutoff to that? It's like you only float to a certain weight and then you sink like a motherfucking barrel. I don't, a barrel floats too. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Wait. Do, oh, I'm at Google. Obese people float. 
Okay. A matter of density. In the case of people, those who have higher body fat percentages will generally find it easier to float. This is because fat is less dense than muscle and bone, which means the body as a whole is less dense than the water it is displaced. Wow. Oh, wait, the water that is displaced. I can't even read. Okay. So Chantal would float. Let her float away then. <laughs> that would be funny. You think there's a difference between obese and super morbidly obese in terms of floating? Hold on. Do super morbidly obese people float. Fat tissue has a lower density than water. Therefore, when a person is in the water... With their limbs outstretched, their body will float. In fact, fat tissue can support huge amounts of weight when submerged in water. <laughs> the next thing down is just the way someone worded it. Are fat people more buoyant? <laughs> oh, that's really funny. All right. Apparently she'd float. Huh. Here's my question. If she's floating along... We know her shape, okay? If anyone has ever made, like, well, no. Dolma this. If you've made dolma, okay? You know how they tend to roll in the oil as they're cooking? <coughs> Once they puff up and become kind of barrel-shaped a little, they roll. And it's, like, hard to control the roll a little bit. That's what I'm picturing her in the water. It's like a dolma the cooking, right? So, um if she can float is one thing, would she be able to, to, to like control the way she's floating? Does that make sense? Like she could be floating on her back and then roll over and now her water's, her head's underwater. Her face is underwater. She's still fucking floating, but she can't exactly flip herself over onto her back. So I think in the case of Chantal, it's more than can she float. It's would she be able to flip herself over floating or is she going to just be free balling it like a fucking Dolmata in the in the oil? I don't know how that would work. She's going to drown, Radplad, you think so? She would probably go belly down. Ooh. Just spinning, spinning like the Dolmata in the oil, yeah. Every time she her face is above water, you just hear, Beats! And she's under again. That's a science experiment for another day. All right. For now, we're going to go into her live stream. Wah, wah. It's time to bees. Let me get the tab. Hold on. <laughs> I love your name. I have my emotional support fan here going. Oh. I'm just going to put that under here for now. I love it. Yeah, thanks for doing that. And hey, Flirty Hershey, again, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Out of this world, luck. Oh, my God, you did the quick name change. Flirty, release the footage, Hershey. <laughs> okay, I guess I can turn it off for a while. Once you're used to having it on. Hey, us, Moonflower. Hi, babe. Good morning. Sawadika. <laughs> yeah. Cool gamer. Hi, Gemini. Leone, what's up? Sawadika, guys. <laughs> Sawadika. Hello, Natasha. <laughs> hi, Tracy. Hi. Good morning. Well, I'm guessing it's evening where you guys are, huh? It's pre breakfast here. Hi, Breezes. Ready, set. Gator Queef. <laughs> Sam B. The weirdest names. I love it. So, <clears throat> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have breakfast soon. I look jet lagged. What? You guys always think I'm burnt, no matter what I do. So, hi, Green Grapes. Oh, we haven't even heard that word out of her mouth in a long time. You guys always think I'm burnt no matter what I do. That's not true. No one's accused you of being high in months. You're high in uh, Thailand at night. You get high. It is what it is. You're not doing 1,000 milligram edibles, but stop fucking lying to us. You're clearly burned out. Look how insane she looks. Look at how fucking nuts she looks. That chin is out of control. And yeah, I think the filters plus the chin spanks and stuff, it, it's, she's starting to look like a fucking like a claymation marionette or some shit, you know? Just log off. Thank you for the super chat. Hi, Joey. Yeah, happy. Because I'm happy. Hi, Ghostface. I taught you Thai here in Australia. Wow. Traveling babe one and two. That's right, paddle. Hi, Andre. Colo, Lisa, Carpe Diem, Seize the Day. I, I watch a travel channel called Squeeze the Day. So, anyways, 
yeah, I have an emotional support fan. Um, it really does help with my anxiety to always have that, to always know that I can cool off whenever I want. Nobody knows me. <laughs> I love the names. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm starving. So I want to have breakfast. It's early here. Had a shower, got ready, did my makeup in the dark, as you can tell. And uh, yeah, I need to have that makeup looks fucking insane. It's morning time. She hasn't had breakfast yet. That makeup looks crazy. And you're already sweating it all off. Why even bother? Lunatic. She looks like a possessed nun. I like that. You're not wrong. Chantal's peekaboo tooth gap. Thank you for the super chat. I picked diarrhea plain. Breakfast. Uh, and then I used to do a whole lot of work as in editing, which is a lot of work if you try to make half-assed vlogs. So, <laughs> what time is it? It's probably about 6.30 now. Enjoy, Sam B. Fall weather. Wow, I'm already starting to see pumpkin spice things everywhere. Like, on social media. I'm not here. I ate jumping shrimp. I know, I know. Yeah. A lot of people in my comments were weirded out that they were alive. But, like, people eat oysters alive, don't they? I've never tried an oyster. Honestly, something about oysters freaked me out. But the jumping shrimp did freak me out, but I still did it anyway. You're in the hospital, Rwanda. Oh no, we will all pray for your speedy recovery. Where do we want, where do we want to travel next? She's, she is right about the oysters, but you know what? You go to eat an oyster, it's not jumping up into your face. There is something very different about that. This was like reminding you that it's alive as you go to take the bite. A little different. I'm not sure, as we haven't really given it much thought. Hi, Marmar. <laughs> you know, after uh, here, I just want to like be at home and cuddle my cat. <laughs> And my hamster, of course, if he doesn't love cuddles. That's interesting. Also, thank you for the super chat. No, I had not heard that story. But just my observation, and I, this is going to sound hypocritical as a smoker, okay? I, You guys know I smoke, whatever. I find that people who start vaping, their lungs go to shit in no time. The, the, there's like a cough sound that these vapor people have, you know what I mean? And they get that weird cough thing in no time. So I'm not really surprised. You want me to eat bugs? I can't, Gator. They're not they're not halal. You know, oysters are amazing. What do they taste like? Those shrimp deserved it. You just ate a fucking bag of dicks and they weren't halal and you deleted the footage. Just eat the bug. Let everybody see it and then delete the footage and it'll be like it never happened. <laughs> Steamed oysters and hot sauce with crackers. I actually love cooked oysters. Yeah, I've had a really nice oyster dish once at a Vietnamese restaurant. Remember in Ottawa, I used to love this one place. I can't remember what it was called. Vietnam Palace or something? You're enjoying the time off work. <laughs> yeah, I know. Honestly, remember I told you guys that story? Sometimes I would get a cold and be like, oh, like a really bad cold. And like part of me was like, yes. <laughs> I know that's bad, but like sick days are the best, you know? Nothing makes you appreciate being at home from your job in a sick day. Lobsters and crabs are cooked alive screaming. That is true. Kicking and screaming. You know, you got to really wonder, eh? Like, I don't know what's going on in their brains. Like if they have brains. I know they have like a central nervous system, but. Golden girl, hi. Excuse me, what? Did she just say that she doesn't think fish have brains? I must have misunderstood that. Let, can we just go back for like a minute? Because there's no fucking way somebody almost 40 years old is that dumb. If it is, again, Cornwall, what the hell are you teaching the children? Story, sometimes I would get a cold and be like, oh, like a really bad cold. And like, part of me was like, yes. <laughs> I know that's bad, but like sick days are the best, you know? Nothing makes you appreciate being at home from your job in a sick day. Lobsters and crabs are cooked alive screaming. That is true. Kicking and screaming. You know, you gotta really wonder, eh? Like, I don't know what's going on in their brains. Like if they have brains, I know they have like a central nervous system, but. Oh, not fish. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought she had switched topic. But she doesn't know that lobsters and, and crabs have brains. What the hell is wrong with her? Fish have small brains. I mean, they have brains still. She has fucking tiny ass brains. Doesn't mean she doesn't have one. Oh my God. They don't scream steam releases from the shell. I've heard that too. Yeah, I've heard they kind of get stunned. But I mean, they're getting cooked alive. But the yeah, it's not a scream coming out of them, you know. Any living creature has a brain. Except for the one that we're watching, apparently. Hmm. Lobsters and crabs have more brains than her. That's for damn sure. Golden girl, hi. How are you? How are you? I really miss you guys. Hi, Rui. Thank you for timekeeping. Have you been paying attention to the passenger aid arrest? 
What is that? Passenger eight. Hi, Brooke. A. Is that the passenger that recently had like diarrhea all over the plane? I saw a video that said being in a paper place. Cause she's so dumb. You see, this is why there's no fucking way that she knew that that restaurant, a uh, restaurant that the, the market had burned down. She doesn't watch any news. She thinks the eight passenger thing is the poop on the plane. What, what, what? Come on, man. Yeah, that's right. She doesn't have a brain. It's insane. Mandy, thank you for the super chat. I vape and my hub vapes and have for 15 years and we have the cough. Even when not sick, it's deaf a thing. Nicotine is a beach. Yeah, I agree. I'm not, I'm trying to say like, I don't have the hawk. I have the hawk, right? But it took years and years and years to develop the hawk. I noticed people start vaping. They get that fucking hawk, that weird vapor hawk, like fast. Um, yeah, I just wouldn't even pay attention to that. You know, you need to try the century egg. You can do it. You're brave. Um, I don't know. Louise you know, said you have Asperger's. Oh, well, I'm glad to know that they are a professional. I mean, maybe if I did, so what? <laughs> That's it. Oh, eight, isn't it like the eight passengers or something like that? They're getting arrested. Oh, wow. I remember following some of their drama like before, but not much of it. But I just thought, I always thought that the, the, the mother was a bit creepy and weird, not to be rude, but yeah, there was something off about the vibe of that, the, the family vlog. Sometimes family vlogs are creepy. <laughs> Hi, Baxter. Hi, everybody. Oh, what? I'm Joey. I already, what did I say? <laughs> oh, they got arrested. Well, you know, if they did wrong, good. Hi, Tammy. Um, no, Golden Girl, where was that? Sauce Queen. Oh my gosh. Long time no see. Hello. Um, I guess I'll just say one thing about that. Like, I don't. Oh, well, that's a blast from the past. Do you guys remember Sauce Queen? She was gross. She had come in here trying to defend Chantal and got her ass handed to her a long time ago. That's like two years ago now. Do you guys remember how fucking gross her eating is? Oh my God. It's one of those like sexual type mukbang. Everything's with like the dripping cream sauce and stuff. It's so disgusting. So fucking disgusting. Oh my God. Ugh. That woman makes me sick. I forgot all about it. I think that we should, I think we should just ignore it. And if anything really illegal happens, I would, um, you know, like protect yourself, report yourself. And in the meantime, just be really savvy on in the internet. Like it's taught me a lesson too. Like we have to also be responsible for our own security because we can't control what the other crappy actions of people who are targeting innocent people for no reason. That's on them, but we have to be responsible also for our own safety. So just be careful with the, the names you're using, you know, lock everything down if you can. And really let's just move on and keep using. Too bad all the people you doxed hadn't done the same, you fucking hypocritical cunt. Oh my God. You are so full of shit, Chantal. You've docked so many people. You have encouraged your audience to dock so many goddamn people. You were using Missy Moo to dox people because she was using her brother-in-law's like company or whatever to get that info. But now that it's happened to you and your Beezers, oh, you have advice. Oh, if these people do this on the internet and blah, 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 blah. It wasn't bad though when it was you guys doing it. She is horrible. Oh my God. It's, I don't know. I don't know. This has all been glazed over and forgotten over the past couple of weeks and stuff, but I didn't forget. You know what I mean? This is who you are. Fuck you and your fucking Beezers and fuck anyone who ever helped you. I don't know. Dox Dee Dee's mother or Dox Perfectly Imperfect and everybody else you doxed, you hypocrite. Pumpkin spice is the season a lot of people go crazy over. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Joey. <laughs> Did you hear about that story? Three quarters of the information was wrong and I was killing myself laughing. Yeah. I saw hi teardrop. Didn't like one of the boys they like like deprived him of sleeping in a bed as punishment? <laughs> oh my gosh, like a teenage guy or something. He's one of their teenage sons. But I didn't really see it much more than that. And after that, I was like, okay, I'm clicking out. Like if I get a bad, bad vibe from watching something too much, I just don't watch it anymore. Like I can't stand it, what it does to my mind. Says the woman who's been watching the attic for years and still does. But no, no, she's great at feeling vibes. And once she feels the vibe is off, she doesn't watch anymore. Amazing who you stay glued to, though. You, ugh, disgusting. You don't feel your own vibe is off, though? Mental health. Hi, Megasaurus. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whatever, golden girl. Um, I mean, I'm like, I'm just going to say, I'm sorry that that happens to you guys. I'm sorry that people are targeting you for enjoying entertainment on the internet. Um, you know, that they have to resort that low. And I just think that, you know, it's just, it's just sad. Well, why did you target Dee Dee's mother? She wasn't even enjoying the entertainment on the internet. She had nothing to do with any of it. She was just living her life. You targeted her. Hmm? 
Why did you target Dee Dee then? All she did was enjoy your crackhead <laughs> when you couldn't because he didn't want you. So you targeted her. Eat shit to you and your Beezers. Ah, I still say they, they deserved it. They deserve it. But yeah. And then just to the appeal of family vloggers, I know. Yeah, they denied him food in a bed or something like that. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, Richard Powell. Why would she even pretend to care? It didn't affect her. That's the bitch fucking thing. It, uh, it like inflates her a little more. You know, she was a little bit nervous, a little bit laying low for a couple of weeks. She saw nothing came of it. So she's emboldened now, if anything. All they did was dox her Beezers. It's like, oh, great. That doesn't affect my life. She couldn't care less about the Beezers. So now she's got a cocky attitude while even, you know, like talking to them about them possibly being doxed. As long as it's not her. She's like one of those women that fake smiles so hard. The face is like crack. <laughs> yeah, I know. Man, I'm excited for breakfast. <laughs> I know I sound like, you know, but like, I feel like, uh, okay, I used to like go to, when I used to go to hotels, sometimes I would have a uh, a breakfast buffet and it's gonna be a bit different this time when i go for breakfast because it's gonna be like they probably don't have halal meat so I'm, like before i used to just like pile on the plate like you know like breakfast buffets are the best you can pile on like 12 sausages <laughs> um yeah yeah just record and, and you know try to live a happy life unlike a lot of people on the internet gator queef i did once but that was in kuwait actually when we went camping not here anna hi they're low life and miserable to target innocent people yeah i know yeah. Like, if you don't like me, why, why you target other people? Like, I'm not, like, as if I'm responsible and I'm at fault for their crappy actions of doxing people. Like, you are. You can't say you didn't encourage your Beezers to do it. That's why you kept repeating Dee Dee's mother's address the night of Cuba. You repeated it and repeated it and repeated it. And where Dee Dee worked, hoping that your Beezers were going to start harassing those places. You encouraged Pissy Poo to use her brother-in-law's job to get everybody's docs. And then you encouraged her to release it. Why? Because somebody found some public information to do with you? You're the Specifically the bankruptcies? Public information was found about you equals you docs the shit out of someone, their family, the, the school their kids go to. <laughs> You're disgusting, Chantal. Don't try to act like you're not. Don't try to act like you're above any of it. You've gone lower than anyone's ever gone with you, and that's to this day, and that is with Marty included and stuff. You're the nasty one in this fucking community. So eat your shit now, still. Anything that happens like in the future to you, whatever, people target you, uh, Beezers get docs or whatever. If they're Beezers who know about this shit and who were who were like around encouraging that shit, aka cunt Bella and the gang. Fuck yeah, they have it coming, you know? Yeah, people lost their jobs. I I can't even imagine a place. It's like the the donation to the SPCA and they were harassing the shit out of the SPCA. The same thing. When you put out where Dee Dee's mother was on the room and the phone number and stuff, do you really think a retirement home? has the time or the resources to be having uh, girl world trolls be calling all day and stuff like that. You're just disgusting. You don't give a shit about anything, Chantal. So again, why the fuck should anyone care about what happens to you or the pieces of shit who choose to be around you? There's no sympathy. There never will be. I don't know. It's just your karma that you're building, not mine. Turd eye blinds. <laughs> I love the names you guys come up with. Hi, Patricia. Hello. I was going to make a cup of coffee in the room. Exactly. Obso, thank you for the super chat. I don't I don't get it either. How can anybody, like, still be a beezer, still give her money, still encourage her, still gas her fat ass up in the chat and stuff like that? I keep saying, unless you didn't know, unless you weren't around, but even if you're around now, once you've been around a couple of weeks, you put in Chantal's fucking name even into YouTube, we all come up first. You would have heard some of the lore. You would have heard some of her most disgusting things. You would have seen like hashtag foodie beauty is an animal abuser. If you choose to ignore all that shit and not learn about the things that have gone on this community, that's on you and you can go fuck yourself too. I don't know. I don't, I can't get into hotel room coffee. I never can. 
It's always the same subpar. Have you ever been to a hotel that has a That'll always kill me. This woman talking about subpar coffee. Keep in mind, she drinks fucking Nescafe instant coffee. Ugh. Nescafe instant nasty. Okay. Talking about the subpar coffee. Ma'am, even when you go for the good stuff, you go to fucking Starbucks. You don't know what a good coffee is. If you had a good coffee, you wouldn't like it. You'd go, oh God, this is so bitter. It doesn't taste like they've mashed cookies into it amazing coffee on the coffee bar. Hi, oh, Anastasia. It's hard for a baby to live, Mary Jane. No, they have really nice public washrooms. They're always clean. So far, like most of the places I've been to. But yeah, it's some like, I, I don't know if you go in like, you know, Kuwait is pretty uh, modern, but like if you go camping, yeah, they have, but they did have a normal toilet too. Uh, okay, Breezes, yeah. Yeah, I, I said earlier, like, I'm sorry that crappy stuff is happening to you, happening to you guys you know, just for watching who you want on the internet and just to I just be safe as possible. And let's just move on and bees. <laughs> I got a bad headache. Can't sleep. Gonna be a long night. What time is it there? Um, It's like early morning, Francesca. I hope your headache goes away. I haven't been, no, Louise. I don't know if they do pumpkin spice here. Have we been visiting more? Yes, we've done a lot and I have to catch up big time on the vlogs, actually. Because <laughs> I'm trying to put a little more work into them like each time. And, uh, you know, it's just taking a while. That Because between that and like doing things most of the time all day, so that's why today I think I'm just gonna like maybe we're just gonna go out at night because I have a lot of catching up to do. They're not doing things all day. Come on. Yes, we're getting videos every day. These videos are like 13 to 15 minutes long. We go to one spot per video. That doesn't equal doing things all day. Sorry, not sorry. You're not. You're not. You're sitting around, you're watching YouTube, you're eating snacks from the fucking 7 Eleven and stuff. Let's just be real. So sometimes, sometimes I just have to spend like a good afternoon just editing, morning and afternoon. Yeah, Carpe, there's people watching Julia and Howie and we get updates like almost every day. 716 Central. Teardrop, we visit a lot, but until now pending for edits. Yeah, exactly. Um, I haven't had more durian yet, but I really want to just find somewhere where they sell durian, crack a whole one open and just pig out on durian uh, before I leave Thailand because it's so delicious. Yeah. You don't like pumpkin anything? No pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pie haircut and free. <laughs> <laughs> That's apart from Dumb and, Dumb, Dumb and Dumber, where um, he's like, hand it over, you pumpkin pie haircut and freak. And he was talking about Lloyd, and he has like a. Anyway, you have to watch that movie if you have her. Hello, Princessa. Pumpkin. So let's. Yeah, read the dawn. You're absolutely right, girl. Um, I'm just going to mention this now because there was so many messages about like uh, BBJ in the picture that I put up on the community tab yesterday of BBJ and her son. <laughs> that uh wow like her bald spots have really filled in and really filled in i had told you guys like at the beginning in i think the second ap appointment she had at the vet they cleaned her ears and she's had it done since then a second time also uh as soon as the ears were cleaned the hair started growing back and it's not stopped growing back and it's it's quite full and like probably still growing in. You know what I mean? It was all just about how filthy they were and her head was where the hair was missing was also very dirty. So we knew that Chantal knew that because every time the cat would go near her, she would say that she stinks. Do you remember that her, her ears stink and her head stink and her bald spots stink. She said that for years. So instead of just cleaning the cat's ears, it was easier for years to just let her go bald and tell her how bad she stank. But it was literally that simple. Just cleaning the ears and head. Well, that kills me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, Tammy. I'm like, maybe not like soon or anything that I know of. I don't really have anything really planned that I could definitely tell you guys, you know. You're going to be ghost face for Halloween. Are you going to go trick or treating? Do you guys go trick or treating? No, that's just for kids. I wonder, like, <laughs> start some more curry. Yeah, I definitely, definitely have to have more curry and more, try more things. Oh my God, she does look like Jigsaw. <gasps> Obso? It's so obvious, but I hadn't thought of it. But now that I've thought of it, I can't unsee it. That's exactly who she looks like. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, Patricia. I just like, you know, we're gonna, I'd like to travel as much with him as possible. And, um, you know, Sometimes, sometimes I might, I don't know. We'll see. We don't know. We don't, like the future is wide open. Like we don't have anything definitive planned. Hello, Vicky. It has sulfur in it and you could be allergic to it. Nikocado. Nikocado's allergic? I thought he like had so, used to eat so much. <gasps> I have huge bags under my eyes. Eh. 
I wonder if the 7-Eleven has any eye patches. I might be a SWAT member for Halloween with a BB gun. <laughs> I want trick or treat. I want only scare people. Oh, okay. Do a couple's costume. I wonder what we could do. Oh, Sanella, welcome to lab. Hello. An apple latte. The oh, apple latte thing is good. It kind of tastes like apple pie. What you can, everyone. Just private what you can. Yeah, just be safe, you know, because I don't know. I don't know what their end game is with that. Like, oh, like for me not to have an audience, I guess. I don't know. It's easy to find halal food there. Um, yes and no. It's easy at Blumstone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, okay. yeah. But all the food we order comes in like I don't know if it's like they always give you this like they don't put things in containers. They put things in bags. So like they always like they give you this broth, this soup with uh, food, and it comes in a bag that's like bloated like a balloon, full of air. And then there's like a, a, an elastic around the bag, um, around the top. And they give you little packets of sweet chili sauce, like chili sauce. There's chili sauce in every like. It's not ketchup here. It's chili sauce <laughs> for condiments. But I love it. I put that chili sauce on everything. It's like a sweet, spicy. Did you videos? Sorry, y'all. Don't think I've dipped. I'm just doing art to show you how close it is. Hold on. Is there any masks? Uh, not yet. If 7-Eleven has eye patches, I'd swerve them. Actually, they have like a lot of beauty products that like I see on TikTok people like, 7-Eleven products, you have to try. So I'm like, mm, do I want to try those things? Maybe, but yeah, you're right, Joey. I don't know. The chemicals, I'm sure there's a lot. I can go to 7-Eleven with my with our minions point. <laughs> Whenever you shop at 7-Eleven, they don't the, the change they give you looks like this. I think I showed you guys, right? Minions. This is one box. Carter McCray, thank you for the super sticker. Your dog is so cute in that picture. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah. Well, Breeze, if you've been a abuser for a while. <laughs> I really want to go to 7-Eleven in Japan. That would be, yeah, I hear it's crazy there too. Hi, Dorothy. She still, oh no, it's true. I was like, she didn't, I was like, she, she had said something about putting out a video about the uh, 7-Eleven or at the 7-Eleven, but she didn't. That's me putting words in her mouth. All she said was she was going to show us a goddamn egg sandwich. And she did. Never mind. Take us to the 7-Eleven at least. I love that your cat in your picture is wearing a Karen wig. So anyways, guys, yeah, it's like pretty early here. I'm going to go have breakfast soon. I can't believe, it feels like I've been on for like an hour. It's only been 17 minutes. I love hanging with you guys. Oh, she's full of shit. I feel like it's been an hour. It's only been 17 minutes, but I love hanging with you guys. That doesn't scream love hanging with you guys. That screams, this is boring as all hell. And I feel, <laughs> you know what I mean? An hour is only 17 minutes. Girl, you're bored. You don't need to stream. No one's forcing you to stream. Okay. Now where, where's my picture? I did my art. I'd like to show it off to everybody. Prove a point. This is chilling. <laughs> where is it? There. Art. Huh? You can't say that's not the same. That is the same. She is motherfucking jigsaw. We need to NASA enhance this. Nessa, zoom, bitch, zoom. It's the same fucking thing. You can't tell who is who. Do you need me to say that Chantal is on the uh, left side of the screen? <laughs> I'm not sure if y'all could tell. <laughs> His name is Billy. Okay, good to know. That is uh, pretty, pretty, pretty fucking accurate. Okay. <laughs> And probably tomorrow's thumbnail. So which one is her red flag? That's what I'm saying. It's hard to tell, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> Salad's voice on Connor. <laughs> okay, back to our boring shit programming. Hold on. Love everything sweet chili. It's really good. Sometimes the sweet gets annoying, but... You've been visiting the 7-Elevens a lot. There's 7-Elevens literally everywhere. Sometimes like two in one block, maybe three. I'm not I'm not joking. And they're just full of stuff I'm, I we don't have, you know? Minion change is telling of 7-Eleven beauty room. Minion change. <laughs> is it morning? Yeah, ghost face. It's like early, like six. Oh, panda, the side mouse button pup. Thank you for the super chat. You seen Marty contacted the Kuwait police? I did not. That's what I was saying yesterday. I haven't, I've been dipped out most things of the community for oh it's over a week now i did not know that you guys were giving me the marty tea yesterday but everyone had said marty quit youtube but then today 
I don't know. Somebody said that Marty had put up a video and he didn't like quit YouTube or he didn't quit Girl World anymore. So I really don't know. I have to get to caught up in everything. 6.30. Very early. Yeah. 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 So 7.22. 7.22. So 7-Eleven. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need somebody to do a video on the 7-Eleven. Ah, oh, so I'll know. <laughs> I haven't made a video yet and all, but I will. I definitely have to. I have to show you guys all the stuff. Anastasia said, 7-Eleven needs to sponsor you. Picture me doing the commercial. Hello, Wieners. Okay, if I did a commercial for 7-Eleven. <laughs> 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 You're talking about oh my God. You're down to 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> well, nuke your Hello, Wieners. They have the best Hello, Wieners. <laughs> oh, the water bottle. Hi, Cricket. Cricket, I just hi average undesirable. <laughs> Cricket, I just noticed your name is not Cricket Garnier, it's Gagne. Gagne. Whenever I was reading your name. Thank you, average undesirable. We do too. Fat phobic flea, thank you for the super chat. Do you mean from Mr. Rogers? I'm still going with, with Jigsaw. I had to think so far back in my mind to even get a visual there, but yeah, I'm I'm still sticking with Jigsaw. Slurpee, yeah, or the big gulp. Teardrop. Why doesn't sell it like Pad Thai? <laughs> it depends on the, the Pad Thai, where, where you get it. Yeah. Okay. And which type exactly? I, I know exactly what grossed him out about this one. I can, I just, I know him so well. The sweet noodles. The sweet, <laughs> the sweet noodles. Too much, like they put honey and yeah. sugar, and uh, I like a ton of sugar. The tamarind. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, the, many things I don't know. Yeah, like, anyway. to you, noodles shouldn't taste. Who called her Jigglesaw? Who called? Don't make me scroll back and find it. Who called her Jigglesaw? Oh my God. Perfect. Jigglesaw. I need to write that one down. Holy shit. You win today. Jigglesaw. <laughs> Sweet. And the, you never had rice noodles, so they were a bit sticky gummy. <laughs> Sala loves pasta, but he likes plain pasta. Like he'll, he loves what I make in pasta, but it's always just so like easy. Like, yeah, it's just plain. The pasta make me uh, pasta wait. <laughs> You like just noodles. You know, I used to babysit a four-year-old who also just like just noodles. Just noodles with a little butter on them. She was four. With olive oil, salt, and pepper, right? Uh, yes. I always make it for you. Or a little tomato. Many types of pasta. But without mushroom. <laughs> but you like mushrooming your eggs. Yeah, quite. You have to know. <laughs> 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 it's like you have to know, like, you know. <clears throat> I love rice noodles, but they need to be rinsed after you cook them. Ah, yeah, because they stick together, right? Pad Thai can be sweet, yeah. And they even have sugar as a condiment. Like, they have peanut, sugar, and chili. I don't know, even the Pepsi here tastes weird. You know what the Pepsi here? I think I nailed it. They usually put caramel color or caramel whatever flavoring in Pepsi, right? And Coke. Here, I think they use molasses. It, like, it tastes as if the Pepsi has molasses in it. Yeah, because isn't isn't that the whole thing? It's like a different sugar. Oh, don't ask me what, because I'm going to fuck it up. But it's something like in North America, they use like a refined white sugar. And in certain other parts of the world, they use cane sugar in the Coke or something. And it does give a lot of soft drinks a really different um, taste. Oh, my God. I lost the word taste. Do you know how brain dead I am today? Fucking hell. Yeah, it's sugar cane. That's what I'm saying. Over there, sugar cane and not over here. In the States, it's corn syrup. Interesting. Okay. She thinks it tastes weird. They always taste so much better. Has anyone ever had like, um, I don't know, like like a Mexican Coca-Cola or um, Fanta from Eastern Europe or something? Fucking delicious. They don't taste like the swill we have. Mirinda, delicious. I don't know, or like a really dark sugar. So let's laugh. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. <laughs> <laughs> mushrooms are tasty in Alfredo. Yum. I love mushrooms. I used to just fry a whole pan with butter and salt. That was it. Garlic, but garlic, salt, and butter. A whole pan of mushrooms. <clears throat> hi, Simply Insane. <laughs> hi, Melissa. Hi. Can Salah come say hi? Oh, yeah, back rooms. We can get the Mexican Cokes here, too, but it's like five bucks for a bottle. Hi, Lena. Well, 
<laughs> Still in bed. <laughs> Ghost Chicken Alfredo is one of my favorite. But like, there's not really much to do in a hotel other than be in bed, right? Because it's just a room and a bed. Basically, hotel rooms and like a chair. <laughs> Also, I'm with you. Thank you for the super chat. I could, I couldn't stand his laugh, even you know, day to day. But to be stuck there with that stupid giggle, and also maybe a little bit high, so the giggle is just going and going and going. I would keep telling him, like, can we be serious for a minute? I don't know. Get him to try and stop fucking laughing. Talk about real sad shit. Get him to shut the hell up. <laughs> have you tried Tom Young? Not yet. I have Tom Young. I really have to try that. I don't know how to accept Islam. Oh, I'm not really good for advice on that stuff. I mean, it's hard to find God. It's not something that you can just, you know, read the Quran and just pray. Hello. Thank you, Undesirable. <laughs> I love hotel breakfast. <laughs> yeah, if they have croissant and cheese on the buffet, it's going to be a good one. I don't know. I wish I had the energy my three-year-old has. I can't keep up. Yeah, ch child energy is unmatched. Do you want some cheesy cheese? I want my cheesy cheese. <laughs> Cheesy cheese. It's like lowest BMI voice. <laughs> lowest BMI, yeah. I love my cheesy cheese. That was my baby voice. Divorce immediately. Oh my God. Picture it. Thailand, 2023. You're on your fake marriage. Fake travels, whatever, whatever. Real travels, fake marriage. And your husband looks at you and says, do you want your cheesy cheese? It's over. It's over right there. That you can't come back from that ever. The one where I go, hey, babe. <laughs> hey, babe. I'm just here. <laughs> I'm here. Peppers, onions, and spinach. I love spinach. Yum. Thai coconut curry. Yeah, I'm not like super huge yes, on coconut. Girl, always Aw, thanks, babe. Thanks, Melissa. <laughs> you guys are sweet. Yeah, a lot of places do. Well, not all Anastasia, actually, but some do have some prayer rooms. Yeah. How many days are you staying in Bangkok for? We're not. We're in Pattaya. Oh my God, Ms. Mute, thank you for the super chat. I'm not surprised. In all seriousness, Salad's laugh made my cat bite me. <laughs> but we were in Bangkok for a week. <clears throat> Honestly, Pattaya feels more laid back and like beach vibey, like more um, beach town kind of vibe. What not you say, babe? Yeah, quite and Bangkok is like obviously more, more touristy, like very, very touristy. I don't know. Touristy and local, like it depends where you go. Back with the capital, so they're more uh, taller than sort of tower. Uh, yes, it's the capital, yeah. Many people, they, they go for Bangkok uh, at the beginning, then. Oh my God, Jesus, go. piggy saw bank. <laughs> like, to, just to stay in Bangkok, we didn't want to just want to stay there. But like, Pattaya was like closest. That's maybe like max two hours between Bangkok and yes, Pattaya. Nice. If we wanted to go to like Phuket or like Chiang Mai, it's like over 10 hours. Like, it's crazy. It's late. <laughs> oh yeah. So what? In theory, once in a lifetime uh, opportunity, you travel the 10 hours. You spend 10 hours sleeping a day. What the fuck is 10 hours? She's so lazy. You've oh, you take the chat the time to travel there, but you won't travel within there. That debate. Uh -huh. What a waste. What a waste. Oh my god. Sounds like someone can't go back to Kuwait. <gasps> Flirty Hershey. I have heard a theory. Now I don't know how true this is. Okay. This is just a theory I have heard that maybe she has to wait. For the visa, like paperwork, let's say to go through. So now it's just like we wait here until I get my visa. I don't know if that's how it works, but that is something that had been talked about. So I don't know. I don't know. She's being extremely vague with how long they're staying there and stuff. It could be. I don't feel like taking another plane. I, I don't like traveling inside of a travel. Like <laughs> traveling inside travel. I don't like it. I don't know. I like to have everything. Sorry, Jilly Witchy. I, I try to pop up as many comments as I can, but the chat moves so freaking fast. But I'm caught up today, so we're good. Thanks for being here. Planned out and like just right there. I don't know. Thanks, Lexby. Don't think you have a question for Salah, or maybe you can answer some help. We saw two people praying on the side road today. When it's called the prayer, uh, is this a usual thing you practice? Oh, uh, you mean two people, uh, yeah. two Muslim people praying? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yeah, a lot of people do that, though. Yeah, sometimes they do because. Um, the, the prayer is time, maybe we'll get, uh, we'll finish soon. So mm. they have to hurry up and pray before the, the other prayer is coming in. Yeah. Time. And maybe if the mosque is too far for them, so they just pray um, on the sidewalk. Uh, the... Okay, I, I can't hear a fucking word he's saying. Not that I want to hear a freaking word he's saying, but like, shut up, Salad. You'll talk to her later. Can you fuck off? Christians, Muslims, no one's perfect. 
like, you know, uh, a perfect uh, Muslim, a perfect Christian, like, you know, we could, we all have room for improvement with that a hundred percent, you know, I never claim to be a saint. I'm not a saint, you know, but that, that all, everything I, everyone, everything everyone does in life is between them and God, you know? I don't claim to be a uh, halal and take day down a bag of five hot dogs, Chantal. Just saying. Not for anyone else to judge. Millie's here, finally. Millie, hi! Oh, no, 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 no. I hate when people say that. It's not for anyone else to judge. That's you judging. If you're saying it's not for anyone else to judge, then shut up and don't judge. I think it is for other people to judge. Everybody judges. It's human nature. I can't stand when people tell you not to judge. It just makes me judge you more. Like a type of transport, like Uber, kind of. Yeah. My mom bought us hotel pillows from Sam's Club. Really, they are so awesome. Whatever they put in them, they just stay, like they never lose their shape, ever. You, you push them down to come up, like, I don't know. Live your life better than the last day, yeah. Hi, little pumpkin. What happened to little mush mush? My sister. <laughs> I'm always steal things from the hotel room. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I've done not stolen things that you shouldn't take, but like things that are like free and complimentary that you don't use. Uh, things you shouldn't take, like every remote control from every hotel room you went with the crackhead. Bitch, we were there. What are you talking about? You only took, I took this, the bars of soap and the shampoos. She would steal the TV remote from every hotel that she went to with Koki. She had a little collection going. Who remembers that? I'm not fucking insane. That was one of the craziest crackhead things she did during Crackhead Olympics. Tell us again how you only took the things you were allowed to, freak. I'm like, hell yeah. You know, like if they're really nice scented hand cream that comes with it or something. But yeah. <clears throat> I used to work with a woman who would steal things from work and I just like, she would like, we would be going to close up and she would take like a bunch of paper towels. Uh, baby, they were like her little mementos from the night having gotten the gonorrhea. Um, and, you know, she was cracked out of her mind. So it didn't really make sense, the item she was taking. But that's, I think, the reason <laughs> that she was taking them. Willow Tree, thank you for the super chat. Foodie, can we watch the Life by Jen documentary by Mr. Snowflake together? Wow. Wow. We could, okay? It's still new. Could we watch it tomorrow? Tomorrow is Friday. It'll have run one more day. I normally just tell everyone, like, no, when it's a new video, like, go over to the person's channel, watch it yourself. But I would fucking love to watch that. So, yes, we definitely can. Hold on. I'm getting the post-it. Getting the post-it. Uh-huh. Life. Bye. Jen. Mr. Snowflake. Great suggestion. We will watch it tomorrow. But as usual, like, we'll start with Chantal stuff tomorrow. Okay. And then we'll pivot to that. So if anybody's, like, not down for that, it is quite dark. Jen has passed away. You know, everybody I think knows that. Uh, definitely don't have to stick around for that. But yeah, I would love to watch that. I kept seeing it coming up on my recommended, but I'm putting it off, putting it off. You know, I haven't been watching too much. So yeah. Oh, Rad Platt says, apparently it's really sad. Okay, you know what we'll do? We'll sandwich it with something funny so we don't go out on a sad on a Friday. We will start with Chantal stuff. Then we'll watch the Life by Jen stuff. And then we'll watch something totally different to end the night, okay? So we can end on a, like a lighter note. Does that sound good? That'll be the plan for tomorrow. Holes in toilet paper. Yeah. I just would like be like, what are you doing? I don't know, whatever. I'm not going to snitch. Hi, Turbo. Especially not for six seventy five an hour. So whatever we were making. If I travel to Thailand, I don't want to see Phuket beaches. Hey, Brooke. Yeah. Um, maybe next time. Maybe next time. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Oh, I see a lot of you guys saying it's too dark. Okay. Okay. Here's what we'll do then tomorrow. I will prepare the video. It'll be on standby. We will start with Chantal stuff. When we would have dipped into the Life by Jen video, we'll do a poll. We'll, we'll, we'll play it by vibes tomorrow. Okay. It's Friday. If everyone's in a good mood and doesn't want to go down there, fuck it. We will put it off. We can watch it another time. All right? But we'll see how we're feeling tomorrow. We'll do the vote tomorrow. <laughs> Better luck next time. You know, but the, the beaches there are very nice, I heard, too. Yeah. Proud of you for doing all the stairs. Thanks, Gabriel. Honestly, it's stairs at the, the Big Buddha. If you haven't seen our vlog, go check it out on the Couples channel. And if you want a 
Thailand cameo, if you want a jungle cameo. <laughs> I can't promise what we'll be doing specifically, but I try to make it outside of the hotel if I can, you know, at least. But um, I actually am going to be doing that as part of my work today. I have to edit uh, the vlog for the couple's channel. And I also have to catch up on, I'm so, so, like, I'm so behind on the vlogs. That's annoying me. Like, I, I need to get it done. And I have cameos from you guys. I'm so excited. I have to catch up. I have, like, a bunch to do. Catch up on many. Catch up on many. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how many bucks bending now? Oh my gosh, no. Yeah, <laughs> Not that many, but a few at least. Oh, she says she has all this footage to edit and stuff. I wish instead of these boring ass live streams, she would just edit the goddamn footage. Fuck, man. This, these are so boring. It's extra hard to sit through. I find when you just came off of the back of like the video we just watched. I really like that video. That was entertaining as all hell to me. And then you watch the, oh my God, it makes these live streams seem even worse. Take this time and edit. Lazy Yella. Panda Pup, thank you for the super chat. And I'm only halfway through one. <laughs> Core chowder. Yeah, I know, babe, it's true. But then the cameos too, I have to catch up on and yeah, catch up in mayonnaise on. <laughs> <laughs> No, Thai chili sauce. Do you see your feet when you walk? Honestly, Gator, I've never really looked. Okay, I have looked when I was walking, actually. Like, normal, okay. And I can see the, this much of my sketchers. We always take the coffee and tea and soaps. The coffee and tea. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, why? Everyone does that, I think. I have, like, a whole packet of instant coffee in my house, yeah. Someone outside of his channel. Are you acting like that's from hotels? You bought the instant coffee. You claim to like the Nescafe. Oh, yeah, I have all this instant coffee at my house. Oh, my God, what the hell is this? Chantal. Oh, my God, they're going to be so broke when they go home. It's good that she's got all that instant coffee at home. <laughs> Perseus, thank you for the super chat. Oh, Dudley, better watch out because I'm using uh Oh, ghost face. I would just, just live your life, man. It was the 1980s, so no one cared. <laughs> I bet you could smoke in the hotel rooms then, too. You could smoke everywhere in the 80s. The mall, the dentist. Like, you could probably get a root canal and smoke a dart. <laughs> no, okay, here's the thing. The stairs to the Big Buddha were, like, not steep. So you're not really climbing, you know? They were just, like, small like this. So that made it manageable. They have a unique architecture. Yeah, very Asian. Like, sometimes I feel like I'm in, like, you know, what I would see in, like, China. I don't know. But I don't really know about, a lot about Thailand. I, I never did. You're surprised... That Thailand is very Asian? Does she know where Thailand is on the map? Something tells me she doesn't because of that sentence. She's surprised that Thailand is so Asian. I don't think it was a joke, Bubble Kirby. That didn't come off as a joke. That came off as dumbass Chantal who doesn't know shit about the world. Oh my God. Where the hell does she think she is? Actual question, where the hell does this woman think she is? You just randomly get on planes and go places you don't know where the hell you're going? Airbnb are much cheaper. <clears throat> I think I was so Honestly, the hotels are pretty reasonable here, I think, pretty sure. You can get a very decent hotel for like 30 bucks a night from what I've seen. I've seen vlogs, like before traveling here, I did a lot of like looking up like, you know, markets, hotel prices, what people typically... Yeah, damn it, corn to deed. The next comment, Cornwall education. Fucking exactly. See, you guys get it. Cornwall, what in the shit? We would budget for a trip, like for two people, stuff like that. Like I like to be prepared now for stuff like that. So, and you know, you can literally turn travel into like a hobby because you have a lot of work to do. You know, you'd have to journal, you have to budget, you have to do itineraries, like itinerary making is a thing, you know, some people actually have, you have that as a job, people play, pay vacation planners. When I worked in the psychiatric hospital, I had to plan travel for like the doctor I was like an admin for. So I know that. It's oh my God. Oh my God. This is a fever dream. Nobody can tell me she's not high. Do you see how far we just went? We're talking about planning vacations now for when she used to work at the hospital for the, she's high as balls. We're, we're, we're talking all over the place. Oh boy. Oh boy. First thing in the morning, she said, this is why we're not getting the edits. She's getting high all day. Damn it, Chantal. Uh, she's so dumb. And it actually hurts you. You feel physical pain by her dumbness. I like it. 
Oh my God. This is insane. She's rewriting her life here. Absolutely. What the? F she makes me feel nuts. Astrofet, thank you for the super chat. Jim fucking Christ. Yeah, about choke me with that laugh. I, I mean, I mean. Bradonetta, hell yeah, she's high. Nobody can convince me she's not. I've been saying it every live stream. To me, it's clear as day in her face, you know? She's too concerned about the continent of breakfast buffet to worry about what continent she's in. Hell yeah. Like, it can be challenging. <clears throat> Ashtrays and glasses from restaurants. The hotel room's pretty big. Yeah, they're pretty big. Really, ghost days? Sauce cups. I, saw, I heard of, like, a woman doing that before. Ghostface, I look like Ghostface right now. <laughs> the shape. <laughs> okay, I need to eat breakfast soon, guys, or, you know, I might pass it away. No. <sighs> well, your mom was targeting you always, but you was beezing. <laughs> Teardrop the little beezer. We just had a company from Indiana, and we took her to Niagara Falls. 1300 for two nights and two rooms. Wow, Airbnb for 405 and free parking. Okay, that, but yeah, Niagara, like, hotels in Canada are insane, insane pricey. I was comparing, like, I showed him, I'm like, you should see, like, compared to what we pay for hotels here, um, it's crazy expensive. I think hotels are pretty pricey in Kuwait too. Kuwait's not not really that cheap. <laughs> like I thought, like I thought it was, you know. Yeah, she thought. Remember before she went for Kuwait, she thought everything was so cheap in Kuwait because she didn't understand the conversion of the dollar. <laughs> and people in her chat were trying to explain it to her. Nope, there was no explaining it to her. She had no idea. And then she's been in Kuwait for a few weeks. And I remember her on a live stream being like, guys, guys, the Canadian dollar is only like a quarter of the, I forget the Kuwaiti, what is it, dinar? She, <laughs> she was just like figuring it out. Oh my God, she's so dumb. Room tour. Well, we won't be doing that, but uh, it's very nice. It's, 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 it's not like super ritzy or anything. But it's good. It's nice. No, we can't try cro crocodile meat. It's it's not halal. And I don't think I would want to try. I don't know. Hi, Laura. Hi. What's going on? Um. Yeah, so I hope you guys are all well. Foolish Games. Three months. Very important visas. Love your trip so far. Seems like you're having fun. Thanks, Foolish Games. Foolish Games. <laughs> and these Foolish Games. My mom always took sugar packs and small packages of jams. So yeah, sometimes I would take a peanut butter in a jam and eat it later. Yeah, sometimes I would forget it in my bag and be like, oh, I have a peanut butter in my bag. <laughs> Gator meat is tasty. It tastes like chicken. Really? Is it like the, it looks like it would be the. Well, Rad, apparently, according to her, it is not halal. So the hot dogs, though, maybe she was allowed one non halal during her trip and she, she wasted it on the glizzies. Consistency of fish and tastes like chicken. No drama today. Huh? Thank God, but it's 40 here. Yes, good point. Christy Girl Adventures. As opposed to while she's in Canada and she smokes the heavy indicas. I also believe she's on a Satina. Uh, Satina? Who's Satina? Sativa leaning hybrid. There's definitely some indica in there. She's getting the eye droop. I don't see eye droop like that with pure ass sativa. However, the like uppityness of the whole thing and the fact that it makes my heart beat a little quickly and makes my palms sweaty. That's sativa to me. That's my physical reaction to it. Definitely, definitely sativa. Ew, no, that's crazy for this time of year. Maybe just one more heat wave. Yeah, there's just some things I don't really have an interest in trying in a stage, I agree. And teach their own. Everyone's allowed to have taste, you know? I mean, I just don't think I would eat that. I, I don't think I would eat rabbit either. There's some things I just wouldn't want to try. Rabbit is halal if it's prepared halal, but... Uh, the one here is 28. Lovely. 28? Yeah. <laughs> Look at the. Whoops. I wish I, I wish I did. I wish I did. <laughs> yeah. We get handsomest man stuck in our heads. Handsomest man. Handsomest man. Oh my God. Handsomest man, baby. Toby and Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, Rip Sinead O'Connor. Yeah. Are you still in the Big Buddha Village? <laughs> 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 Maybe. Maybe. Shonies. Habibi. I'm making frozen pizza and Alfredo crackle pop. Hey, homemade is fine too. Like just putting something in the oven. Yeah, teardrop too many suckers. <laughs> Dreamweaver. Derpy derp face. She does. And the weirdest thing is that like he doesn't speak French. She's not getting that from him. You're like, where, where the fuck is this even coming from? Died. 
Oh, well, I hate that song, but that's sad. Dreamweaver. But it was a popular song. I know that. Was it from the... Oh, yeah, Safeway. I never had Safeway, but we have... I did have... We had Lobes, IGA, Lobes. And it's now Metro. But yeah, what else did we have? Farm, we always had Farm Boy. I remember always Farm Boy. My grandma always shopped there. I can still remember the order. 200 grams of honey ham. Shaved. Uh, <laughs> oh 800 God. grain bread. Like... She, it, uh, can you imagine you're on vacation in Thailand, okay? From your vacation in Kuwait to a vacation in Thailand. And all you find to talk about is your grandma's deli order at the farm boy in Cornwall. Wow. Her. Well, the murder capital, the most murders happen right now in Zacatecas, Mexico. So I'm scared. I watch too many bad videos. I don't know. <clears throat> True. They're spinning cobras here. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. 7 Eleven, no tea. Huh? Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> Relax, baby, be cool. I'll try, babe. 7 Eleven milk tea is really good. Yeah, we love it. Milk tea. Milk tea. It's too sweet, though. Thanks, Oha. I'm glad. Carolina, I'm Mexican, and we are always afraid to go uh, down south. This, this is so bad. This is so bad. This is so... All she's doing is talking to the audience about food and then having a side convo going with him. Ma'am, end the live. Is that safe on the north? Enjoy your day. A little pumpkin, mashallah. Yes, people. Think your high weed is legal there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Kunka. I, th I don't know if we're saying that right, maybe, but <sighs> anyways, guys, we're gonna go have a uh, hotel breakfast. Oh, nice, no face. The Carolina. <clears throat> salt, what? Make uh, TikToks in Thailand. Yeah, I, no, I don't make TikTok. Well, we should make TikToks, but I just don't have like the patience. I don't know. The <laughs> Carolina. That's true. You don't have the patience to do TikToks. I don't have the patience to sit through another second of that bullshit. Oh, for the love of God, Chantal, don't don't go live until you go back to Kuwait, please. All the time you spend going live should be spent editing because these lives are horrific. Let the horrific shit stay in Kuwait. Give us some good edited videos in Thailand because so far they're good. Okay, you had a 7 out of 10 for the first video and it was only 7 because you cut out the money shot. Release the cut footage and that goes up to a 10 out of 10, okay? Stop wasting your time live streaming. Edit. Why don't you sit? Oh, no, because you need the phone. I'm like, why don't you sit there on live stream editing? Do that. Okay, give us the videos. Christy, thank you for the super chat. And yeah, thank you to all the mods. Very, very much. I appreciate you guys uh, so much. Let's see if she stays this excited when she's back in Kuwait. Oh, she won't be. She'll be miserable, and we know. We know. <laughs> it's like she said, this is only fun because it's seeing new things for the first time. Back into lockdown in her Kuwaiti cell, she'll be back to, you know, bored. Homesick? I also think she's homesick. I think that's a good point. Um, even before she had left to Kuwait, she was talking about Cornwall a lot. A lot about Cornwall and, you know, driving the Kia and stuff like that. She is definitely, definitely a little bit uh, homesick, but whatever. She went to Kuwait to do the the visa. She was too scared to come back to Canada with, I guess, what had been going on with Marty and stuff. So no Canada for her now. Stay homesick, bish. <laughs> Until the next visa run is needed, that is. <sighs> anyway, let me check my notifications while we've been live. Nothing. No edit, no fuck all. God damn it, Chantal. Edit the videos, yalla. Maybe she'll do like yesterday. You know, yesterday we ended our live stream. She immediately put up the thing to go live. So I'm hoping we end ours tonight and she immediately releases the next video. That will be what we start with tomorrow for Friday. I love these videos. Keep them coming and she better give us a good one for Friday. So, so like I said, tomorrow we will start with Chantal stuff and then we'll take a vote. We will judge it by the vibe and how we're all feeling tomorrow in the moment. Do we want to watch the Life by Jen video. If not, back burner it, okay? It doesn't mean we're never going to watch it if we don't watch it tomorrow. 
and uh, I'll see what else I can drum up. We'll have something else to go out on a laugh just in case, all right? So that's the plan for tomorrow. For tonight, that is it. We are caught up. Life is good, and it's Friday Eve. Whatever you're doing tonight, everybody, please have a great time. Please be safe. Stay cool if you're in the fucking heat zone with me. God damn it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.